According to a story in the Wall Street Journal, many fathers feel uncomfortable showing physical attention towards their daughters now. I know I didn't say affection, I said attention, but <laughs> the media is, they're saying, because, you know, it's a pet, they're so afraid to be called pedophiles and like divorce cases, the mother like Woody Allen, all these women are going to say, oh, he's a molester, which, you know, so that's why they're saying they don't like to hug their daughters. What do you think? <laughs> molester? <laughs> Well, I'm just glad that they don't they aren't Cardinals. casting the spotlight on on mothers and sons because I grew up in an all-male family well except for my mother and uh, when we all when I turned my brother and I who were a year uh, younger we turned into puberty my mom started running around the house in bra and panties constantly and she would ask us to dress her before she would go out at night. I shouldn't probably be telling this, but no, 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 they don't fine. show this show in Canada. This is, and it this be, is actually going to be, uh, this sounds like a serial killer's confession. No, she, she, and, and she, we would always dress her. And so, but my straight brothers would, would do the bra up, and my gay brother and I would always choose the jewelry for her. Uh, That's sweet. That was very sweet. My, yeah. my wife's in her late 20s and uh, still sits on her dad's lap. Um, and, <laughs> Well, it's awkward, but what do you do? You say something? Now, the only concession I have is she calls me daddy. So, um, but the truth of the matter is, if there's a lot of sexual tension between a father and a daughter, I think they should go ahead and act on it. Because, um, no, just, just because, wait, just because sometimes it disarms it, it'll make it a little more comfortable. Right. You're like, wow, I'm glad we got past yeah, that. Out of the now way. we can be exactly. friends. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. Yes. Well, you know what? I, Reclaiming uh, I, incest. I, I, the, the whole thing is sad. It's a sad story, you know. Uh, is you that why you had three boys? Because you're afraid of that happening. And you know what? I hug, I hug my kids a, a lot. I'm always hugging my yeah. kids. It's mostly just because I want to keep a body between me and my wife. Uh, yeah. you know, it's, like a, it's like a human shield. You know what, you know, it's like a bunch of little human you know shields. Joker, yeah. 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 You know what? It's like, I think girls should stop thinking of it as as losing a hug from dad as much as gaining a high five. You know, my dad high fives me and that's an intimate thing. But he does hug me. I mean, He's he like, honey, I love you. Yeah. Hey, what up, dad? Well, they say, so you're gonna say what, he's a, what does he say to you? He still hugs me. He hugs, the, he hugs the life out of me. And I think one time I saw him stare at my tits. So, I mean, it's still... Well, there was, there was that... There was that one, uh, that one woman that was quoted in the article that said that when she started sprouting large breasts, yeah. her father wouldn't hug her anymore and she still feels abandonment issues. And you wonder, like, what a girl with giant breasts with daddy issues might end up doing for a living. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a she support herself. There's no work out there. That's, that's how God makes whores. What about this nonsense? <laughs> that's one of the ways. A recent study in England found 50% of British fathers refused to get up and pretend to be asleep when their babies cry in the middle of the night.